Edward here from ERViewer.com. We have another video for you. This is the first of three paper sessions that I had done, uh, movements uh, based off of the initial uh, time void sensation from the previous video. Again, that was one of my uh, time um, sensation projects that I had set up for myself in that uh, what I'm attempting to experience is anything that is perceivable within a pocket of time between uh, doing a remote viewing session of a target that is yet to be selected for me so the selection process exists in the future and the other participant uh, my friend Dustin who selected the target for me he also his participation in the project was also in the future so at the time that I had done that session I was the only one who was aware of of the project uh, um, at all so what I'm looking for in that is any perceivable changes uh, that I can detect in uh, at or below the threshold of my awareness, uh, um, different types of mental processes that may or may not be stimulated, being that I'm the only one who is aware of of the target process or the remote viewing process. Everything else uh, that is associated with the project exists in the future, and I'm attempting to experience that span of time between doing that session and when the other participant participant then becomes involved and then goes through the target selection process. That's what I'm looking to experience. That's what the time void sensation is about. Uh, this is what I'm interested in and um, it is unusual. It may be hard to understand. Uh, it's not your typical remote viewing stuff. Um, you know, my work isn't like that. I'm interested in, in um, what's going on below the surface so to speak so that's where a lot of my work is happening is in these outer ranges and outer realms but the target that uh, Dustin eventually did select for me uh, was this uh, image of, of a strange anomaly uh, below the the surface of the ocean the Pacific Ocean not the bottom of the ocean uh, what it looks like in the in the Google image and you can go to the Google Earth uh, location the coordinates and see it for yourself but what it looks like is some large round object that is uh, making its way uh, across the, the, the bottom uh, of, of the ocean and kind of cutting a path uh, kind of a, you know, like a snake like thing with all these curves like it is you know kind of making its way along the bottom of the ocean and there's also these uh, other you know, straight trenches, like some kind of a grid system down there. Now, the, the movement that Dustin uh, um, asked if I would be willing to, to, to go on uh, after I had uh, thought I was done with that uh, time void uh, project, he, he asked me if I wanted to continue. There was you know, something interesting there. Would I want to continue? And I said, okay. And so he, he asked if I would uh, explore the, as I had declared, this grid system. And so as I'm going to the paper session, um, getting uh, this, you know, what's kind of going on there, and these cut grooves uh, going on, it's kind of this embedded groove thing happening, and kind of an elaborate system down there. And something that uh, was designed, um, it was built on some kind of a host, uh, moving along on a host of some kind. Some very interesting things that came through. It's not a very long session, but some interesting things came through. And uh, the, the more of the kind of cutting in and, and making these grooves is in, in session number two and session number three. But this is, was my initial contact with that. But what was interesting to me to experience uh, with this target as I came to do whatever small amount of research that is available uh, on this, um, really, the I think the only thing is a uh, uh, YouTube uh, page called Secure Team Ten, I believe it's called, and they look at a lot of the UFO stuff and all these anomalies, and they do videos for it. And the image that uh, Dustin had sent me was a clip from from those guys, so that's that's how I saw that they had done uh, some talking about it. Not a lot of research on it because it's below the you know a couple of miles below the in the bottom of the ocean, and there's just no research on it. But, um, but the idea of of um, also that it was a clone, that there were more of these, that this was like a clone of another one, which made me start to think about the uh, Baltic Sea anomaly session that I had done. I, I had 
was tasked to remote view the Baltic Sea anomaly in 2011. And in that session, uh, I remember going through the experience that that round thing down there, that there was more than one, there was more than one of them, there was one of many. And looking at, at this uh, image of this big round thing below the Pacific, it kind of reminds me of that, kind of looks like that. And in this session, I was getting the, the, the notion that this was, um, this was a clone, that this was a, a design of some kind um, that had been uh, duplicated. And it was like, uh, again, like one of, one of many, it was like a duplicate of another one. So maybe there's more of these. Uh, maybe, maybe if, if uh, more people look through all, all the Google images, uh, maybe, we'll f maybe we'll find uh, that there are more of these things in, in other uh, parts of the oceans around the world. Who knows? But I don't know. It's really weird. But it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this session was interesting. All three sessions were interesting. And uh, we'll see what comes of it. Um, if, if, if it's uh, nothing, then it's, you know, it just was an interesting experience. If there's something there, then there's something there. Also, with the, with the images on Google, a lot of them are blurred out. So you see this, this kind of very long track, uh, curving track that, that, that leads to, to the ending point where this big round thing is. And it's just this long kind of snake-like trail behind it. And, and a lot of the trail parts of it are blurred out for some weird reason like uh, I don't know like they're, they're they're not being shown but I don't know what that's about but um, it's very interesting uh, stay tuned the uh, sessions uh, th uh, two and three are will be coming out in the next couple of days or a week or something like that and uh, when I whenever I can get them finished and uh, those are pretty interesting too so this is a strange anomaly it's definitely piqued my curiosity and uh, I hope we eventually learn more about it I would like to get some feedback uh, on this uh, on this target at some point, hopefully. Uh, so hope you find it interesting and many more to come. Seven, five, six, one. Wavy. Curving. That feels like an angle as well. Across. Hard, moist. Be man made. Seven, five, six, one. Straight angle across. This feels hard, it's solid, and again, man made. Seven, five, six, one. A sloping. Curving. Curving again, and this feels energetic. I'm starting to get some stage two coming in here. Uh, 
This feels man-made and natural as well, but I'm getting stage two wide, angular, outside, deep, dense, open, flat, tubular, and AOL break of a window, edged, dense, and heavy, heavy. Uh, stony, metallic, round, grooved, grooved, in, flat, <clears throat> I have to do a sketch, I'm going to call this 2A. But I'm getting this kind of an idea of like um, and these um, slots or Cut ins like these are dimensionalize them. Like um, these patterns are embedded. embedded I like to, like to cut in. <clears throat> All right. Grooved. Yellow. Black. Silver. Dark. Uh, hairy. Or furry. Slim. Wide again, guys. Grooved, grooved, grooved. <clears throat> Getting a Strong sense of curiosity here. I want to go into stage four. Um, can I call this my stage three? No, let's let's do uh, another sketch here. Cause man, I, I am just I gotta try to dimensionalize this. Uh, 
I'm just trying to dimensionalize here. These are, I'm not dimensionalizing it properly, but. feels elaborate. Good idea there, like a, a lot of lines, like. System.
lot of stuff in here. Sensory dimensions, AI, tangible, intangible. Okay, all the signal uh, dimensions: round, flat, dense, open, narrow. Uh, narrow is bringing up a, 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 an idea word here: escape. I don't know if I should AOL that or not, but. Feels it feels it feels okay. Escape is an idea. Um, bouncing, moving, uh, greasy, edged. Outside, this idea here of, of a hospital. Hospital, like, um, you stage four and a half is uh, some idea of health. to safety and well-being, that kind of thing, close, moving again, clanking, uh, voices, tangible here of people. People an elaborate system of uh, straight lines straight lines um, through waves through ways, uh, corridors, corridor, 
I don't know how to spell it. Corridors. Corridors, uh, passage, uh, passages. Um. Passages. Thoroughway, thoroughways. Passages. This is an idea coming in here. Higher ups. Higher ups. Um, higher ups. Advanced. Knowledge. Higher ups. Voices, people, voices, people around. system sensory dimensions AI AI tangible tangible all of the signal I want to um I want to go into this idea here of the elaborate system. Describe the describe the elaborate system, uh, but that's not really the question. That's not the question I want to ask. Um, um, like, uh, what is... specific way of approaching what is the elaborate system describe the elaborate system what is the purpose of the elaborate system what is what is the elaborate system what 
is the nature of the elaborate system. What is the purpose of it? What is it for? What is, why, why was it built? Why is there an elaborate system? Why is there an elaborate system? Describe the reason for having an elaborate system. What, what does it do? What is the purpose of it? What is the meaning of it? What is the nature of it? What is its purpose? What function does it serve? How about that? What function does the elaborate system serve? What function does it serve? What is it? What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? What is What does it do? An elaborate system. system of movement and there's movement and efficiency efficiency but what else is it? There's an idea here that I'm trying to access. A pattern. Pattern. It's patterned. 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 Patterned of something uh, like a replica. Grid holds it together. And the grid, the grid holds it together, keeps it. Hold something inside. Like uh, a like a self contained system like that. Yeah. Designed 
designed by someone. Designed by someone uh, for efficiency. For efficiency and um, Efficiency and what's the other? And um, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Efficiency and. Optimization. Optimization, but there is there is a sense it was patterned of something else. System like this, and then went and built another one. And this is the the clone. of replenish, replenish, replenishing. Try this. Move to the designer of the grid pattern and describe their vision of, of it. Move to the designer of the grid pattern and describe their vision for creating this. What was the vision they have? What was the what were they looking to create? Their vision of it or for it. system. A work
working system that benefits others. Um, it's like uh, governing. Governing or controlling or controlling the system In this idea, um, the idea was to build a a grid-like system. Optimum efficiency. If optimum efficiency. And utilization. Um, this idea of a host. A host. grid is built upon something a host a host this uh, this grid system is built on top of something. Like a layer. layered on top. Hmm. 